What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. I am Black Panther as always and in this video I'm going to be showing you the setup that I've slightly changed since last time. If you'll remember there was an amplifier here and my TV was there which I've moved over to the other side which you'll see in a second. But uh, yeah I've done some changes, not anything major but just stuff to help me record and you know get things sorted. Uh, for when Rivals is going to be recorded, which I do have there, which you can see. I haven't even played it yet, but I will be playing it shortly and recording some of it for you guys. Now then, so just to give a quick overview, those are sickness tablets, doesn't matter. Not actually usually part of my setup. PS3 games, PC games that I found lying around on the floor and I couldn't find any way else to put them. I've got a few others which I need to put there. Wallet, <laughs> PS4 games will go here. Um, probably change that a bit slightly, but the Vita, which I never, ever, ever, ever use, but I charge for the special occasion of having the PlayStation 4. If you want to see anything on the PlayStation 4, let me know down below. But anyway, where's the pad that I write stuff on? I've got a lot of rival stuff in there, as you've probably seen in some, some videos. Lamp, which I don't put a shade on because it messes the lighting up. I've only got orange ones at the minute, so. <laughs> so, keyboard, mouse, and microphone here which is a blue snowball with a pop filter that I found in Maplin. I don't even know what its exact name is. Okay so moving over here very quickly we have my PlayStation 3 slim 320 gig, PlayStation 4 500 gig, tempted to get a 1 to 1.5 terabyte drive which is also a hybrid drive so it's SSD and um, you know normal box and hard disk drive but obviously it's quicker. It, it basically uses the SSD parts to boot things much faster that you use regularly. But anyway, that's the setup. Behind what I do at the minute, which I won't do much sooner, but much no, recent, <laughs> I can't even think of the bloody word now, in the future, which I will not do, uh, at the minute I'm unplugging the HDMI and optical and switching them. Um, what I will be changing here, well, with the optical, I actually change it on the, the um, switch thing, not switch, converter, can't get it right now, but I will be getting a splitter and switches and so on, so I would split it, which I'll move on to in a second, uh, but it will switch between the PlayStation, so when I turn this on, this TV here will switch to that, and the capture card will switch to recording that. When I switch to this, it will, when I turn this on, sorry, and this turned off and PC is on, um, it will switch to this. So basically, it'll like, <laughs> when these two are off, it will switch to the PC, so three monitor PCs. So I need to get a switch, um, I also need to get a couple more HDMI cables and a HDMI to display port which will let me plug it into my PC because it's an AMD GPU and I have an HDMI and a DVI cable connected already so I need to do DVI and to that. Anyway you get that point. Um, one quick thing this is for content creators or people planning whatever to record the PlayStation 4. Now Unlike the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 3, when putting it through splitters, it didn't need to be uh, a powered splitter. The PlayStation 4 seems to need help to split the HDMI signal, so it needs a powered HDMI splitter. PS3 doesn't, so get a powered one, it works with both then, but that's just to let you know. So this splitter goes to the capture card, uh, switch, sorry, and switches between recording this monitor which is where I record my PC games, Most Wanted, etc. And recording the PS3 or PS4, which I need to get a switch between... Switch? Oh, I swear I got it right and I still try to correct myself. A switch between those two. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. So on my PC, these this monitor and this monitor are my PC. Webcam up there, as you can see. Uh, as I said, the middle monitor will be my main PC monitor at one point, but not right now. These speakers I use to, well, listen to audio when I can't be bothered to wear these headphones, which are my headphones I use. These are Sennheiser HD 215s. They cost me about 60 quid. They do the job, but I'm currently looking for a headset because I'm having trouble hearing myself when I'm commentating. Me now has to take one cup off, which kind of looks weird in video, but 
If you've got any suggestions for a, micro, a headset where you can hear yourself through it, and not doing it through Windows because the delay is god awful, um, doing it through that, that would be fantastic. Uh, so to record, I'm currently using my Elgato. So the Elgato is behind my monitors there, as you can probably see. And the Elgato, unfortunately, is 1080p 30fps. doesn't work in 60fps at 1080p. If I bump it down to 720p, it'll be 60fps. Anyway, that is my setup for the PlayStation and so on. As you can see, desk and PlayStation consoles there. The microphone does extend out. It's not trapped anywhere. I can pull it out and I can put it literally here, which is probably where I will put it because having it right next to the PlayStation when it's on and it's fans are going if it gets any louder like other people's have, then obviously that's not going to be fantastic. So, I will probably do a video at some point explaining my whole setup completely, showing, you know, how I split and convert and all this stuff, so it makes sense and hopefully you guys would make a use of that. Anyway, thank you for watching, make sure to like if you did enjoy, I am Black Panther, and I will see you in the next video guys, peace.